was his life's blood shed for me. And why did he suffer like no man has ever done? I It's good to be in the house of the Lord this morning. So thankful to each and every one of you that's come out and been, being a part here with us this morning. Do we have any first-time visitors here this morning? If you're a first-time visitor, if you can, just slip up your hand. We've got some ushers with the visitor's card that we'd like for you to fill out and drop in the offering bag in just a few moments. Any first-time visitors here this morning? All righty then. Let's all stand together. You help us sing.
with jewels rich and rare. Soon I shall hear the shouts that bid me welcome there. Hallelujah, I'm going home. Hallelujah, soon going home. Going home, dear Lord, to home. I am not complaining. Every day I'm gaining. Hallelujah, I'm going home. Going to ask our ushers to come forward at this time to receive this morning's offering. Brother Gary Wilson, we come ask the blessing over the offering for us. It's good to be here this morning. I'm glad uh, God loves me, aren't you? He said, he said, but God commended his love towards us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Let's praise him this morning Amen. for loving us. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father in heaven, as we come before you, we thank you for your love and your mercy. Thank you for loving us when we was unlovable. God, I pray this morning that you would touch that one that's closest to eternity. They might be lost and undone without you, Lord. I pray that you'd touch them with your mighty power. The power of the Holy Ghost, dear Lord, through the preached word of God. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you'd just knit our hearts and minds together. And we've come for one reason, and that's the worship of you. God, I pray for those to, uh, for the offering that it be used for that building of thy, ki thy kingdom. And Lord, I pray that you bless those that have to give, bless those that have not to give. God, we pray just uh, just put us in one mind and one accord. We ask these things in Christ's name.
making me see it. Good morning. How are you today? I hope you're blessed. Good to see old Ed back with us. Aren't you glad God's healing him up? I'm so thankful to be here. And thank you all for your cards and kind words. It is my birthday today. <laughs> 40 That's kind of like the way <laughs> <laughs> It ain't above me for y'all to do the way if we'll call it the hallelujahs <laughs> Um, this morning, I'll be honest with you, I don't know what direction I'm going in at all. Uh, studied for a message, and then, uh, I don't know, I, I, I'm not sure what to do, but, um, well, I'm so thankful to be a part of this great church, and we have, we have a great God, we have great people. And I'm, I'm thankful for you and, um, you know, how, how that I'm treated here. I, I don't think there's another pastor that gets treated better than I do, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I'm not uh, worthy of anything, not one thing, but uh, besides hell. But Jesus saved me. He's still perfecting it. Matter of fact, let's don't do that song right now. Just stand the same. Empty and broken, I came back to him. A vessel unworthy. So scarred with sin, but he did not despair. He started over again, and I bless the day he didn't throw. Boy. 
more like this and molded in his image he wants me to stay sometimes I stumble and I fall on oh, this old vessel breaks it but the potter picks up those broken pieces he doesn't throw the clay away well now over and over he molds me and he makes me into his likeness he fashions the clay here right now. Second verse. Well now, Jesus is my potter and I am his old broken dirty clay but I'm molded. I'm molded in his image and that's where he wants me to stay. Once in a while I fall this old vessel of clay breaks but he doesn't throw away the pieces he doesn't throw away the clay well now over and over are you thankful he molds me and he makes me into he fashions the clay A vessel of honor I have today Oh, because Jesus He doesn't throw the clay away Yes, I'm a vessel because he didn't throw the clay away. Oh, I guess this is probably my favorite song that I've been able to write lately. Because what you're looking at today is somebody, Brother Kyle, that don't deserve salvation. Somebody that was destined toward another place. But on that road in between where I was and where eternity laid, there was a cross. And before the foundations of the world, God had already made up his mind that I'm going to stand between Chris Rumfelt and that place called hell. He's going to stand between you and that place called hell. And I'm going to give every man, woman, boy, or girl, creed, language, nationality, an opportunity, rich or poor, forsaken, broken, sick to come and kneel at my cross and receive my blood that was shed for everyone. Woo. And as a nine-year-old boy up the hill, After a Sunday night message, the 
Holy Ghost followed me back to my bedroom as I lay there in that bed he tapped the conscience of my soul I was singing a little song it was off of an Eminem commercial at that time in 1983 I was making up my own words and said if you're lost without Jesus hell will be your eternal home Holy One of Israel said, that's you. And I got up and I went to my mom and my dad. Your home is important. Mom and dad, if you don't raise your kids together, the world will. I encourage every couple to stay together and get through the hard times. It'll pay off in the end. <laughs> but I asked Jesus, who's that little boy, to come into my heart. And I'm going to tell you something. It's the best thing that ever happened to me. I got up to be a teenager like some of you teenagers are and I, I put my salvation on a shelf worst mistake I ever made but the good news is he convicted me again how many of you can raise your hand and say, I'm so glad he convicted me again. I was the biggest failure on the face of this planet because I knew better. But God forgave me of my sin. He still forgives me of my sin. Some years later, in my early 20s, I was at Mars Hill College. I'd already had three heart surgeries. I was sitting in an apartment. And the Spirit of God began to speak to me. A little old apartment. I was getting ready to move into a dilapidated little house to finish out the year. A shack. I mean, I'm serious. I didn't have no money. Every ounce of hope I had was about gone besides one. That was after salvation. Just because you're saved doesn't mean it's going to be a joy ride. But I remember I'd go to class and I'd just, I'd weep. My nose would bust and bleed. The devil was even whispering suicide in my mind. The devil, every day I woke up, said, you're a loser. You've never accomplished anything. There was one little ounce of hope left and that ounce of hope was in Jesus. And I'll never forget another preacher asked me, said, would you like to go to the camp meeting in Tampa, Florida? I said, yeah, I'd really like to go but I don't have any money. He said, don't worry about it, I'll take you. And we got down there and God had prepared. It was a camper that was full of drinks and food. I didn't spend a penny. But I remember telling mom, mom said, mom, you remember this? She said, you can't go. You don't, you don't have the money to go. There's no way you're going to have school. And I said, mom, if I don't go, I'm going to die. I've got to. 
And I'll never forget that service. And Wayne Runyon preached, the roses will bloom again in your life. And I made my way down to the altar on the left-hand side of that sanctuary. Piled up a bunch of broken pieces of clay. I mean broken, folks. And I'll never forget the words I said, Luke. <laughs> I said, Lord... I know I've been saved, but I've made a wreck out of it in my life. I said, but if you'll have me, you can have what's left of me. <laughs> there was a war went over my, my, my soul that day and my sanity. But I'm glad that Jesus gave me victory that day. He gave me victory. I, I've been changed since then. I, boy, I still make mistakes so, along the way. I like to say they're getting fewer and fewer the more we grow in the Lord. This past fall, I, after seeing them two foster kids come down and pray, and wrote a song, and then God give me another one. I, I hope it helps you. It helps me. Sometimes I find myself just singing it. Because I know my strength comes from the Lord. It don't come from me. I'm not strong. I can't make it on my own. I know I feel more than I prevail. I know I sin. I'm not a perfect man, but I am saved. I know I'm born again, but I'll keep trying and I'll keep climbing and I'll keep praying and I'll keep crying. Enemy says just give in But Jesus whispers I'm your friend He lifts my head and dries my every tear I'm still climbing I'm still trying And there are days I've walked the mountain peaks with God And there are times Through the deserts I have trod And there are days That heaven hears my prayers And other times My words are lost between here and there But I'll keep trying I'll keep climbing And I'll keep praying And I'll keep crying The enemy says just give in But Jesus whispers I'm your friend He lifts my head and dries my every tear I'm still climbing I'm still trying And there are days I walk the mountain peaks with God And there are times Through the deserts I have trod And there are days Without a doubt Heaven hears my prayers and other times My words are lost between here and there How many of you are with me? But I'll keep trying And I'll keep climbing And I'll keep praying And I'll keep crying Enemy says just give in 
But Jesus whispers, I'm your friend. He lifts my head and dries my every tear. I'm still climbing. I'm still trying. There are days I've walked the mountain peaks with God And there are times Through the deserts I have trod And there are days I know heaven hears my prayers And then those other times My words are lost between here and there I'll keep trying And I'll keep climbing Church, I'll keep praying And I'll keep crying The enemy says just give in But Jesus whispers I'm your friend He lifts my head and dries my every tear still climbing I'm still trying Yes, I'm still trying I'm not gonna stop I'll keep climbing Devil, listen to these words I'll keep trying I'm a child of God, he's given victory, I'll keep climbing. No matter how bad it gets, I'm gonna keep on trying. Oh, I'll keep, I'll keep on trying. I'll keep pressing, I'll keep climbing, I'll keep, I'll keep on trying. Then I'm gonna keep on, I'm gonna keep on praising. Come on, church, I'm gonna keep on, keep on praising. I'm gonna keep on shouting. And when I don't feel like it, I'm gonna keep on singing. I'm going to keep praying, praising, singing, shouting. I'm going to keep on trying. <laughs> Hallelujah. Give me praise, Brother Ray. God bless you. Amen. Give him praise in the house of God like he deserves. What would I do without Jesus, the shepherd of my back? Lord, I just I couldn't walk this road along. And when I'm hungry, he feeds me. And when I'm thirsty, he is my water. I couldn't make it without Jesus. What would I do? Someone to talk to He is always there to listen When arms fold without me He rocks me in his bosom What would I do without Jesus The shepherd of my valley I could make it without Jesus What would I do Now when my tears flow like a river and my burdens are high as the mountains and when the ones I've counted on they've let me down that's when I go to Jesus he's the one that I can count on I couldn't make it without Jesus what would I do and when I need someone to talk to, he is always there to listen.
listen when arms fold without me he rocks me in his bosom what would I do without Jesus the shepherd of my valley I could make it without Jesus what would I do I could make it without Jesus what would I do Is it all right with you if we follow the Holy Ghost? Dying all alone It broke their 
hearts to see the blood that he shed. They were all prepared to fly, but God turned to them and said, angels sit down. This is not your time. He said, time in heaven when those gates swing open wide when God's children go marching in to that place beyond the sky when we meet our blessed Savior the angels will form a band they'll start to sing a song but God turns to them and says, Angel, sit down. This is not your song. See the smiles on their face. They've waited so long. They've been down to the fountain by the blood. You'll obey the Holy Ghost this morning. You can leave here with your cup full. Oh, my. You ever felt, you ever felt just so down and out you couldn't make it? Anybody? Seemed like the world, the cards were stacked up against you. No way out, nowhere to turn. But I got a word for you this morning. The sun will shine again in your life. You, will. you are going through a valley. Dark is drawing nigh. It seems that you are doubting that again you will climb. The hand of the Father is there to comfort you. It is here that he will mold you and he will see you through. Oh, the sun will shine again. Patient, you will see the sun will shine again. Look here, if you get down on your knees, take a hold of this nail scarred hand, he'll take you to the mountain top. Trust in the blood of his loving son, he's our shepherd and our. Got some ladies needed over here in the corner. It is down in this valley where we learn to stand. Listen, the rain will fall and the wind will blow, but his blood will shield us down. And if we keep on climbing, 
It gets sweeter toward the top. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. He's my cliff and he's my rock. Oh, the sun will shine again. Be patient, you will see. The sun will shine again. If you get down on your knees, take hold of his nail-scarred hand. He'll take you to the Trust in the blood of his loving son. He's our shepherd and our rock. Take hold of his nail scarred hand. He'll take you to the mountaintop. Trust in the blood of his loving son. He's our shepherd and our rock. Yes, he. Once I wandered in sin's black night And there was no way I could make my wrongs right And then that old, that old accuser To the Lord Jesus, he cried And said he is a sinner and now he must die. Oh, but then I heard, I heard a sweet voice say, Father, I'll go. I'll bear in my body those marks to make him whole. I'll bear in my body Oh, the marks of the cross And you know, I'll save this old wicked child Who is so sin sick and lost And it's still the blood That saves from sin How about helping me? It's still the blood that gives victory to me now there are those who rely on all the works that they do and there's some then they'll even count on those past times they've prayed through oh but when when the battle's over and the home through the blood of the Father's only Son. And I'm glad it's still the blood, oh hallelujah, that saves from sin. And it is still, oh it's still the blood, oh that cleanses within That brings victory to me And I'm glad it's still the blood Hallelujah That saves from sin And it'll always be the blood of Jesus That cleanses within Oh, it's from that high It's star in heaven Man can't even see To the depths of the sea the blood of Jesus that brings victory to me. 
Now there are those who who rely on. Listen, if you need prayer right now, you need to come pray. If you need a miracle, you need to come pray right now. You need, if you've got a heavy heart, you need to come pray right now. Not right now, not tomorrow, not tonight, right now. You're going through something, you come pray right now. Right now, Holy Ghost, move in this place. Move in this place. Oh, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Come on now. Listen to his voice. Hey, you got marital troubles. You got personal troubles. You got neighbor troubles. You got troubles at all. Come on and pray right now. Come on. Bring them to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, you see somebody praying. Put your arm around them. Thank you, Lord. another brother or sister out today. God bless you, Raymond. Somebody, Big Mike, come and grab old Raymond right here. He's broken, needs some help. Now there, there are those who they rely on the works that they do. And there's some men yes, they count on the times they prayed through. Oh, but Brother Luke, the battle's over, and I'm glad the victory is won. We'll all go home through the blood of the Father's only Son. And it's still the blood that saves from sin. And it's still the blood.
to the depths of the sea it is still the blood of jesus that brings victory to me let's all sing and it's still the blood sing it now that saves from sin and it's still the blood that cleanses within from the highest star in heaven to the depths of the sea it is still the blood of jesus that brings victory to me come on sister praise the lord take it luke Listen, a couple of you sent a message saying, hey, we need to pray. We need prayer or somebody else needs prayer. You come on right now. You need special prayer for yourself or someone else. You come on. All our preachers and ordained gather around. Aren't you glad we have a God that answers our prayers? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. How about it, Luke? I know a man who can home sister oh my goodness I like it when the Holy Ghost preaches don't you thank you Jesus praise his name <laughs> remember a scripture I read the other day and I looked it up and that pray carried with it the idea of worship so what we're going to do right now is we're going to pray and praise the Lord through this prayer that's what we're going to do. We're just going to... How many of you believe that God can? I if you believe that God can't, we ask you to step out of the building. But we serve a risen Savior. We serve a sovereign God. Again. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Oh, but Thank you, Lord. No Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> glory. You glory, 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 glory. <laughs> I can't walk. Oh, glory. Upon the waters or calm the troubled seas oh but I know a man who her right hip needs to be healed Amber McClure is trying to have a baby and she can't call him yes. Amanda Dula her back has given her trouble for two weeks now she's not able to hardly make it Call him Jesus for his, his back and legs killing him. Let's pray for this. If you think Crystal's no best friend can. from school's mom is passing away right and now as we speak over in Franklin. Pray for the family. Yes. For Frank and Joanne's granddaughter's back, Cameron. Church, do you believe in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost? Listen, pray and praise Him and believe that God's going to answer these prayers right now, church. Kind Jesus, Lord God, You are able to do all things. God, we pray, Lord, for our sister's back and hip right now. Lord, with Your stripes, may she be healed right now in the name of the Most High Name, Jesus Christ. And Lord of Lords, right now, back I command thee, I command thee, hip in the name of Jesus, Lord, to be healed right now. No more pain. God, we touch and agree right now. God, we pray for Amber McClure, Lord, that's trying to have a baby. God, you put babies in the womb. That's broken. God, as you told the man down by the pool of Siloam, take up thy again. bed and walk. God, I but pray, I Jesus, with your stripes, may she be healed. God, we pray for Jeffrey's back right now. God, we pray, Father, for his legs. 
God, we command this infirmity to be gone in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus right now. God, we call on you. We praise you, Lord, right now for what you're doing. God, we pray for little Danielle's house, Lord, her household. God, we pray for her mama that she make a safe trip across the Jordan. God, we pray that there be no fear. And God, that your comforting hand would touch this family. God, we pray, Jesus, for little Cameron. God, we pray for your back right now. God, we pray that that back be healed, that it be straightened. And Lord, she wouldn't have any trouble. God, right now, Jesus, as we pray in Hayesville, North Carolina, God, may you touch this child in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. With your stripes, may she be healed. God, we ask it now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the sweet, sweet Holy Ghost Spirit. And all God's people give him praise. All God's people thank him. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your name, Lord. Praise your name. today praise the name of Jesus <laughs> praise him praise him praise him that's you buddy Let's all go to the Lord right now as he stands. Come here, brother. He's standing in the gap for Julie Wilson right now. She's in labor. Kind Jesus, God, we pray for Julie right now, Lord, that you make it all right. God, that you deliver that baby. And God, that he'll be used or she'll be used for your kingdom. God, I pray, Father, comfort right now. In God we believe, we touch and agree in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the sweet, sweet Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Ain't he good? He's better felt than told. The baby has been born that he just asked for. It's a healthy baby boy. Amen? <laughs> That's a quick answered prayer, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's precious to be here today. I mean that. It's precious. I, a thousand worlds couldn't do what we have uh, done through the Lord. And... Um, if you don't know the Lord today, I'm going to tell you, our prayer is, is that you come to know Him. That's it. We'd love to have you here at this church. If, you're, if you don't have a church home, we'd, we'd love that. I don't think you'll find any better. If you do, let me know, because I may want to go join too. But this services like this are not they're not thought up they're prayed down somebody spent some time praying this week somebody has, has still awayed and prayed and as, as pastor of this place I want to let you know I, I'm thankful for it as we you know nobody's made a profession of faith today I know of and that little fella there you got touched didn't you son <laughs> you didn't get saved did you did you get saved today or did you just pray have you you just felt the Holy Ghost didn't you son he feels good don't he <laughs> 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 
You know how you know when it's real? He started crying again right then. <laughs> he can't stand it, can you? Feels good, don't it, son? Can you throw your hands up and just say, praise the Lord? <laughs> Amen. Church, we all learn from that. <laughs> if you're unsaved today, you are the special guest of the moment. Of the very moment right now in time, you are the special guest. You're, you are Jesus' special guest. You're our special guest. And there's nothing better than to join the family of God. Listen, I've seen people healed and I've shouted with them and praise the Lord. But listen, the greatest healing that will ever come will be to a lost, wounded soul that gets bathed in red royal blood of the King of Kings and they're made white as snow a new birth and so if you need that new birth today can you just bow your heads all over the building just a moment how many of you can lift your hand up and say I'm saved I know it and I'm going to heaven no doubt at all okay you can put them right back down how many of you can say I don't know for sure or, or, I, or I know I'm not going pray for me is there one anywhere one anywhere One hand anywhere. How many of you, you're a Christian, but you've been struggling with some things and you still don't have peace today? Could you just throw your hand up? Just going to pray for you. God bless you, hon. You've been saved, but you get used to battling. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Somebody else. I'm still struggling. I don't have peace right now. Just throw it up. God bless you. God bless you. Listen, this is the time for you to come if you raised your hand why don't you just come right now just step out of your seat come on from the back to the front you know you need prayer you just come on right now God spoke to you you come on right now God will meet you here hands all over you don't want to leave in this same situation come on The mountain was so steep As I walked down that narrow road From the shepherd's side I fled Thinking on my own I'd grow The truth is plain to see when from the shepherd's side you flee I've grown cold in my heart And my shepherd I can't see But he knows just where I am And he hears me when I cry he saw my every step That's why he left the 99 He took me in his arms And carried me back to the fold He knows just where I am He's my shepherd, I'm his lamb From his side I've learned to stay I grow in his love each day He leads me to the pastor's green And to the water still and sweet his rod and staff, they comfort me And from His hand I'll ever eat Since He found me, I am free Goodness and mercy follow me He knows just where I am And he hears me when I cry 
He saw my every step That's why he left the 99 He took me in his arms And carried me back to the fold He knows just where I am He's my shepherd, I'm his lamb He knows just where I am And he hears me when I cry He saw my every step That's why he left the night in high He took me in his arms And carried me back to the fold he knows just where I am He's my shepherd, I'm his lamb He took me in his arms And carried me back to the fold He knows just where I am He's my shepherd, I'm his lamb From his side I've learned to stay <laughs> I grow in his love each day He leads me to the pastor's green And to those waters still and sweet His rod and staff they comfort me from his hand I'll ever eat Since he found me I am free Goodness and mercy follow me But he knows just where I am And he hears me when I cry He saw my every step that's why he left the 99 He took me in his arms And carried me back to the fold He knows just where I am He's my shepherd, I'm his lamb he took me in his arms Carried me back to the fold He knows just where I am He's my shepherd, I'm his lamb saved today or just re just pray or what did you just pray feel better I love you son give old Luke a hand praise the Lord thank you Jesus I'm about to give the Lord a hand clap of praise amen Love you, appreciate you. 
so much. This has been a, a, a service that we didn't plan for, I can promise you that. And God's got a purpose for it, and people got help today. And that's important to us, isn't it? Uh, not only that, let's, let's pray for tonight's service at 6. That God will bless that service and help us and lead us. And, and uh, not only that, Wednesday night, Wednesday night, I, I do your best, everybody in this building, to be here on Wednesday at 7 o'clock. We're going to do something special. Our youth retreat is coming up on Friday. It's going to be three days of just wonderful, wonderful fellowship and preaching and singing and worship. I promise you that. It's going to be great. If you, if you have a young person, they want to go, make sure you see one of us after service, and we will uh, take care of that. The other thing that we want to remind you of is... is it starts on Friday. We're going to need a lot of people to help. There's sign-up sheets in the lobby, right, in the foyer out here. And what greater investment could you invest in than the youth? There's not one. Outside of yourself, investing in the youth is the greatest investment that you can make. And so please come and help. There's going to be, and, and if, you, if, you, if everything's full, which I'm sure it's not, if you come and smile, and shake someone's hand and pray for somebody. Listen, there'll be, there'll be literally a couple of hundred kids in this altar at one time this weekend. I mean, God's going to show up. How do you know that? I'm expecting it. There's going to be kids saved, lives changed. And so Wednesday night, while our kids, our kids are going to be having classes, and we're going to take the adult adult class in here and we're going to march around this building seven times we're going to wrap this place in prayer that's what we're going to do Wednesday night I may preach too so don't say well if he ain't preaching I ain't coming I hear that and see that and it's so ridiculous listen we're going to, we're going to pray and we're going to, we're going to pray angels encamped about this place twofold One's on the inside looking into the mystery of redemption and those on the outside with their swords drawn. And if one devil tries getting on this property, we're going to pray they get slain. Get out of here. No place for it. And another thing I want to tell you before Luke, I'm sure he's got some things to say, is this weekend, as the church body, we're going to eat them up with kindness. You do it all the time anyway, but I just want to, if, if, if what, whatever goes on, we're going to smile, we're going to shout, we're, gonna, we're just going to treat people like they are royalty. That's what we're going to do. You give up your seat if you need to, I'll give up mine. I mean, let's just, let's tend to people. Let's display the love of Christ all weekend. You know, if, if, if there's one hamburger left, I don't want it. You know, I'm giving it away. So let's, let's just keep that in mind. Brother Lucas. Um, by way of youth retreat, there's going to be a volunteer meeting tonight after church. So if you've signed up out on the uh, sign-up sheet to help, uh, we will be meeting briefly, uh, five or ten min minutes uh, tonight after service, just to give a little direction on, on things that's got to be done this week uh, prior, prior to, to the services. Um, the FCA baseball camp is coming up on June 8th through the 10th for ages 5 through 15. Uh, see Pastor Chris or Lori uh, for sign-up sheets if you'd be interested in attending that. That's going to be held at the Clay County Rec Park. And I know Brother Chris can, can mention more about that. Uh, but today in your bulletin, there was an insert concerning the new um, pictorial diction directory, not dictionary, that we're going to be doing. Uh, these pictures are going to be taken June 17th, 18th, and June the 25th. Uh, the company that's doing it is Life Touch. They're a very professional company. I remember them when I was in kindergarten, them coming to school and taking our pictures. But you must reserve a day and a time, and Judy Simmons is going to be in the foyer before and after each service the next few weeks uh, to sign people up. So please see her so that you can sign up, have a time to get your picture made so that you can make our church directory. And lastly, I need to announce that there's produce distribution on Thursday, and we need volunteers to be here by 10:15, if at all possible. We will be having choir practice today at 4:30, so uh, please come out and, and help us with that as well.
Thank you, Brother Lucas. Great service today, and also on the, uh, the, baseball, the baseball camp, we had eight kids saved last year at the camp. It's a time I speak to them, teach them every day, bring a message, a gospel mm -hmm. message uh, to the kids. And also, if you have, if you, all, you, all of you that knows kids 5 to 15, this is a great camp. They'll get instruction from a former Atlanta Braves coach that week. Also, the college coach at Young Harris College is going to be there. It's going to be a great opportunity for these local kids. So hope you can tell them. Yes, baby shower today. I seen all that and I thought, man, they're getting some pies and stuff for my birthday today. It's going to be great. And then I went over there and said, baby shower. I'm so glad. And Sean and Christina, we love y'all. And, and uh, boy, I'm telling you. Yours. Yeah, I am thank God Crystal ain't pregnant right now. <laughs> We love the, let me tell you something funny. The little blessing, my life's little blessing, he turned two. Coulter did. And how many of you know he likes to preach? Buddy, I'm telling you what. I mean, he gets in here and he, I don't know what he's saying. But, and you'll hear Jesus every once in a while. And then he'll run across the stage. And then he'll throw his hands up. And I mean, he's just on it. Well, the other day we was in here at, at school. The kids were taking a test, and I had him in here, and his little buddy Peyton was sitting over there. And he got done preaching. He brought the microphone over, and he said, You preach. <laughs> it gets better. And so Peyton, you want me to preach? Yeah. And he just walked away. And so Peyton and I was talking, and Jimmy Russell's wheelchair was over there. I don't know how it ha I don't know about the kid. Next thing I, I looked over, and Coulter Benjamin has turned that thing on and has that little joystick, and he's flying around up here on the side of the, the, side of the church. I'm telling you, I call him a holy roller. That's what he is, amen. We love you today. Thank you for being here. Let's get our hands up in the air and exercise. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. May God bless you. Have a great day. See you tonight.